please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Henderson versus Rycroft. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good morning, Your Honor. Ms. Henderson, you claim that you believed Mr. Henderson was your biological father, but at the age of 15, Mr. Rycroft claimed he is your dad. You are doubtful and have opened today's case to get the truth. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Rycroft, you say you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that Ms. Henderson is your daughter. You are here with her mother's twin sister, who claims that she, too, is certain you are the biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Henderson, I'll start with you. How has life been without knowing who your father is? You know, it's lonely. Um, my kids, they want to know their grandparents. And my daughter, she tells me all the time, Mom, we're going to find your dad. So, you know, I just... I'm just ready. I want to be close to somebody. I want to be close to them. Um, I've always been close to him, but I need to know the truth. So, Mr. Rycroft, you say you are certain. You are Miss Henderson's biological father, and you know it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Yes, Your Honor. When we met, I mean, I, it, I don't know, I just felt it. I just felt that she was my daughter. And then just to know that that, that my sister's resting in her grave and that my niece needs to know who her family really is. I mean, I just need to know, too, for sure, so she can get a peace of mind. Mm -hmm. So we can all move on. Be but the point is, either way it go, he's been her father, he's been her father, and they're gonna and remain being her father. Be her father. And we thank always the Lord. Miss Henderson, I see your emotion. What are you feeling right now? I know that she's saying that, you know, he's my father, he's my father, but I need to know the truth. I don't want to just think that someone's my father. I don't want that. I want to know. And, and I... growing up, you were told, Mr. Henderson, this is who you grew up knowing was your father. Mm -hmm. Yes, and during the time that I stayed there, um, I was treated different from my sisters. <laughs> they used to tell me, that I wasn't, I wasn't their uncle's daughter that I was adopted. Your Honor, can I go over there for a minute? So, would you like to go yes, with Yes, I would. Her? So, I asked her. I asked him, too. I said, Daddy, are you my daddy? And he told me that he was, he was like, I'm the only daddy you got. And so, when my mom came home, I, I told her, I was like, I know that Walter isn't my dad. I don't look like my sister's. So she just gave me another name. And so I'm just tired of hearing all these different names. <laughs> I need to know. Ms. Henderson, I know this is very difficult. Mr. Henderson, I need to ask you, what was your relationship like with her mother? We were still good. I mean, that was my wife. And, you know, I treat my wife like my wife, regardless of what she do. And she was your wife, so why was there any question about Miss Henderson's paternity. Because she left me in California, went to visit her mother in Arkansas. When she came back about a month or two, my other, my other daughter told me that my mom is pregnant. And so when you find that out, you assume she cheated or you assume this is my baby? She was pregnant before she left. Well, Your Honor, Ashley, when I talked to her, I told her, if it's a girl, it's ours. It's the boy, you gotta go. Oh, so you had an inkling, you had yes. a suspicion. That it wasn't mine. Are you on the birth certificate? No. You are. You are. I am? You are. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> been a long time, young. Well, yeah, I mean, especially if she was married to you, then you would likely be on the birth certificate as father. Father. There you are, Walter Henderson. Yes, that's me. So, Miss Henderson, take me to the day you met Mr. Rycraw. Okay. What was that day like? Well, my aunt called me and she told me to come meet my dad. And when we met and we held each other, and it was, it was, it was good. But I asked my mom after that about him and she told me, 
she said, I don't know why William thinks he's your dad. Because the last time I was with him, I was 18. And I had you when I was 25 or 26. Mm-mm. My sister, when it comes to telling the truth on certain things, they'll beat around the bush. <laughs> and like she didn't answer him when she came back, she didn't tell her the truth either. Why do you think your sister didn't tell the truth? Because they both was in a relationship. They both were married. And then when, I, when my sister Colin told me, and I said, uh, it's not my place to tell. Okay, so now at what point did your sister tell you the secret? After she's been here two years. What, what did she say? How did she say she it? She said, I said, who is her daddy? I said, you can't lie to me because we twins. Who is her daddy? <laughs> and she said, William. So the truth is, is they were both having affairs... With each other. With each other. Yes, Your Honor. And that's why this thing went hush, hush, hush swept hush, under the rug. Hush, under the rug, as the old folks say at my hometown, under the rug, swept that dirt. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I was tired of just beating around the bush, not saying nothing about it. So I went on and told her, do you want to meet your daddy? So you called her that day? I called her that day. And Miss Henderson? I asked him, did he want to meet his daughter? I called him, and he came to revival, and I said, you want to meet your daughter? So, Mr. Rycroft, I do want to hear from you. What was that day like? Well... I'm, I'm just astonished about it. And I believe she's my daughter because before Karen went back to Calif- California, uh, I believe she was pregnant. I, I believe that, that she was pregnant. And, 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 and when we met, it was so emotional. But I accepted her because I believed in my heart that she was. So, Miss Henderson, when you listen to this testimony, does it make you believe that Mr. Rycroft is your biological father? No, because before my mom passed, I was always... I was questioning her, who was my dad? And she gave me this man's name. Tell me about that. It wasn't until I got older that I decided to, you know, go and see this man. So, I'm, I, I don't know what to believe right now. And so, what happened when you met him? You said you went to go see him? What happened? I did. And I thought I looked like him, too. And he remembered my mom. And, um... We got a test. And I called to get the results, but they didn't give me the results. So, he called me and he told me that he wasn't my dad, so I never saw the results. So, up until that point... Did you believe he was your biological father? That's what my mom told me it was. And I can see how much that hurts you. Did you build a relationship with that man? No, I wouldn't allow myself to build it with him or that man because I'm t- I don't want to be, like, just building relationships with people and it's not my dad. Like, I don't want to do that. I don't want that. I want the truth. That's what I want. I want to know the right one, so I can have the right connection. I'm upset because I went through so much and I could have been with my dad. But my sisters, they, they had an okay life and I didn't. I, I, nobody was there for me. Miss Henderson, the other man, the third man, the man your mother told you is your biological father. This court was able to get a hold of those test oh, results. Oh, As it relates to this other gentleman, the probability of paternity was determined to be 0.00%. He's not your biological father. Get the medic. Get the medic. Someone call the medic, please. Can you sit her in the chair? Okay. Can you bring a chair closer, please? Three. 
Okay. Yeah. Relax. Slide your hips back so you can sit in there good. Okay. Thank you. Slow deep breathing. Nice and slow. Ms. Henderson, I have to ask you, after the reading of the results, your aunt, Ms. Murray, she was so overcome with emotion, she fainted. How are you feeling? I'm just even more scared. When you say you're even more scared, why? Because, like, what if it's nobody, you know? I always be your dad. I know, Daddy. I know, but that's not what I'm looking for. But does it make it more possible in your mind, more feasible, that Mr. Rycraw could be your biological father, just as your aunt had stated? I don't. I don't know what to think right now. Because my mom told me that even when she was dying. So. I just don't know. When she was dying and I kept asking her, was it him? She gave me another person that she didn't know his name. Yo, and I still believe she's my daughter. I, I can't check that feeling. And I love her. I've been loving her for a long time, like I said. And I believe she's my daughter. You've brought a witness, and I'd like to hear from her. Ma'am, will you please stand and step over to the podium? State your name for the record. Latoya Banks. Ms. Banks, you are Mr. Rycraw's... Oldest daughter. Oldest daughter. Yes, ma'am. And can you tell the court what your understanding is as it relates to Ms. Henderson? Were you told that that's your sister? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe she's your sister? I don't. I just don't have that connection with her that I have with my other siblings. Um, I can't say that she isn't my sister, but I just don't, don't believe that she's my sister. Um, we accepted her and loved her because my dad loves her. We just want to know the truth, me and my siblings. We just want to know the truth. And that's exactly what this court is about, getting to the truth. Ms. Henderson, if you are ready, I'm ready. I have the truth for you. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. <laughs> These results prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Henderson versus Rycraw, when it comes to 33-year-old Mercedes Henderson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Henderson, you are not the father. The next result reads as follows. In the case of Henderson versus Rycraw, when it comes to 33-year-old Mercedes Henderson, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Rycraw, you are not the father. You are, dear. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry, Miss Henderson. Oh. Don't worry. Okay. 
Miss Henderson, do you need to just sit down? You want to sit down, honey? Can you take a deep breath? You are there. Life deals us blows that we breath? don't expect and that we don't deserve. But we got your back. If you need us, we're here. Okay? All right. I wish you all the very best. Court is adjourned. Come on, can you walk over here? I got to give you a hug. You gonna be okay, okay? This is just one day. We're gonna march on. We're gonna heal, right? You know, think about everything you do have that's a blessing in your life, okay? Okay. Folks, you see me? Dr. Jeff will come get you, okay? Go over here with your daddy. <laughs> 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 okay, baby. Take care, family. Take care of her.